Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step through how to view open interest on TradingView. If you've ever wondered why open interest indicators sometimes just don't show up, or how to properly access this really important metric for your trading strategy, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to display open interest so you can make more informed trading decisions on TradingView. All right, let's jump right in. The first thing you need to know before you even try to pull up open interest is that your selected symbol must be a perpetual contract. Now I know sometimes it's easy to overlook which instrument you're viewing, but in this case it's critical. Open interest data is usually only available for perpetual swaps or contracts, not for standard spot charts. If you're checking out, say, regular Bitcoin or Ethereum spot, you're just not going to see the open interest indicator populate no matter what you try. It's a common stumbling block, so let's make sure you set up your chart the right way. Let's use an example to make this really clear. Imagine you're already on TradingView and you're curious about the market sentiment, you want to see open interest for Bitcoin. The first instinct might be to head over to the Indicators tab, so let's do exactly that. We go up and click on Indicators. This opens up that familiar search bar on TradingView where you can type in keywords. Now type in Open Interest. But here's the thing, if your chart is still set to a standard spot pair, let's say BTCUSD, you'll notice the open interest indicator just isn't showing up, or it's grayed out, or maybe TradingView is saying it's not available for this symbol. This happens because once again, open interest only works with perpetual contracts. It's a bit like trying to tune to a radio station that's simply not broadcasting, you just won't pick up the signal, so let's fix that. What we need to do is switch our symbol to a perpetual version of the asset. For Bitcoin, that's usually labeled as BTC perp. So go to the symbol at the top of your chart, click it, and search for BTC perp. You might see a few options from different exchanges like Binance or Bybit. Just pick the one that matches where you want your data from. Click on BTC perp, and your chart will update to reflect the perpetual contract. Now let's go back to those indicators again and search open interest one more time. This time you should see the open interest indicator is available and ready to add to your chart. Go ahead and select it and there you go. The open interest data will now populate below your price chart. This gives you a window into market participation. You can start to see if positions are building up or unwinding, which is essential for understanding trends, potential reversals, or even identifying when big players might be getting involved. And remember, if you ever see that open interest is missing or not showing, double check your symbol, it has to be a perpetual contract. It's a tiny detail, but it makes all the difference. So that's all there is to it. It's a short process, but it unlocks a powerful layer of market insight on TradingView. If you found this walkthrough helpful, please give it a like and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or run into any issues, I'm here to help. And don't forget to subscribe for more TradingView tips and trading tutorials so you'll never miss out on an edge in the markets. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.